Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Ree's Retro Toys. If you watched my last episode, I was at the Greencastle Toy and Collectible Show in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. The man who runs the toy show, his name is Phil, he has a store also in Greencastle called Kryptonite Toys. So that's where I'm headed next for my next video. So uh, let's see if I can come back with anything.
Okay guys, so I just left Kryptonite Toys in Green Castle, and this is what I picked up. You probably saw them in the video as I was scanning the store. I got the Power Jet, 100% complete and sealed box, as well as the Interlocker from Captain Power, which is sealed. Great deal on those at only 40 bucks a piece. I mean, where are you going to find vintage Mattel Captain Power sealed vehicles for 40 bucks? And then I also picked up some Cops and Crooks vehicles. Got the Blue Streak motorcycle, Ironsides assault vehicle, as well as the Roadster vehicle. So I'll do a quick quick conclusion video when I get back home in the toy cave. Okay guys, so I'm back from Kryptonite Toys and I had a blast walking around the toy store. Phil um, and his fiance, they have a great collection, a great variety of different toy lines, some newer stuff, some older stuff. They have a whole room of Funko Pops for all of you Funko Pop addicts out there and, and different artists and candy and it's just an overall fun store. I highly re recommend you visit that store if you're in the Greencastle, Pennsylvania area. And I'm sure you will come back with something. Of course, I headed over there after my visit to the Greencastle Toy and Collectible Show, which was my last episode, if you've seen that. So this is kind of part two of this, because it was all done and filmed in the same day. So let me show you what I picked up at Kryptonite Toys. I got this Cops and Crooks. Blue Streak Cops Cycle. Of course, this is from the Hasbro action figure line, Cops and Crooks, and the cartoon series. The case of the big bank job. Big Boss and his gang of crooks were escaping in the roadster, but hot on the tail was Officer Highway on that cop cycle, and he wasn't letting this bunch of crooks get away. Yes! Cops and Crooks, vehicles and figures sold separately. With I didn't have any of the Cops and Crooks vehicles. If you recall, um, this past summer, I got really into the Cops and Crooks line. I got a, a big lot of them from d and Collectibles um, up near Pittsburgh. So I'm happy to add some of these vehicles to the collection. This is in really nice shape. It has the stickers. Um, the only thing it's missing is the seat belt, but I should be able to pick up one of those somewhere. And then I got the Ironsides Assault Vehicle, which again is in nice shape. The only thing that it's missing again is the seat belt, and it came with a hardtop action figure that I do not have. Uh, the Cops and Crooks line, they released some vehicles just as vehicles solo, um, but they also had a few of them that came with special uh, exclusive action figures and the iron side here came with hard top and the last cops and crooks vehicle that i picked up is the roadster of course this is a crooks vehicle and it is complete as well other than the seat belt so i'm not too concerned with them not having the seat belt it's not like they're going to fly out um, while i sit them on a shelf displaying them so this one, much like the Ironside Assault Vehicle, came with a figure. It came with Turbo Two-Tone, but fortunately, I already have Turbo Two-Tone that I found at the flea market this summer. And Turbo Two-Tone is actually the catalyst figure for me getting into the Cops and Crooks line in the first place. So as you can see, it has come full circle. I now have his vehicle to complete the madness that is my descent into the Cops and Crooks action figure line. And now it's time for a song. Yeah. 
last two items that I picked up at Kryptonite Toys are pretty stellar in my opinion. This is a mint sealed Power Jet XT7 from the Vintage Captain Power Line. Of course, this is from uh, Mattel. In 1987, I believe, this came out. Kelsey Dolls love new t -Bow. Of course, the Captain Power line also had the interactive feature that you could play the tapes on your VCR and shoot things and, and do all sorts of fun things that the kids did in the 80s. This is factory sealed. This isn't loose complete with the box. This is factory sealed. And then there's the back there. It shows the vehicle itself. I like this too. It shows the, the different figures that were available at the time. So this will be a nice piece to add to the collection. I also got the interlocker. And this is factory sealed as well. Um, it's always amazing to me that this stuff can last that long in the box, completely sealed. I mean, we're talking 33 years old here. And here it is. And the box art is great. The box is in great shape. And again, it features the toy on the back of the box, as well as the other things that were available at the time in the toy line. So that's what I picked up at Kryptonite Toys in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Again, if you're ever in the area, always hit up that store. You will come back with something, I assure you. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to my channel at Rees Retro Toys for all of your vintage toy hunting needs. Thank you for watching and keep on hunting. All these trials and situations always filled with so much complication. Pick it up, eyes. And yes, I'm driving in the dead of night.